You guys, a stranger this weekend hurt my feelings and made me cry, right? We are profitable performers. Get out there, perform, and make some money. Dun, 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 Good morning, good morning, good morning to all of my profitable performers out there. I hope that you guys had a wonderful, wonderful weekend. I hope that you guys woke up this morning. You are ready for Monday. You got a good uh -uh, stretch in and you guys maybe have some breakfast. I don't know. I hope that you're okay with a daily dose of Diana because here it is and it is Motivation Monday. So listen, you guys, I have a story to tell you today. And I'm going to be very transparent and lay my little heart like out on the line and just be honest with you. So listen, this is what happened. I'm sorry, ignore my pit bulls in the background. They're excited that we're back home. <laughs> anyway, so let me tell you what happened. Uh, my family and I, my husband and my children, we want to take them to all the 50 state capitals before they graduate, right? And so... Um, Recently, we just took the latest leg of the trip out to Colorado and to Nebraska to see those state capitals. And so we drove to Colorado from Chicago, and it was about ugh, maybe 13, 14 hours. It was really, 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 really long in the car. And so what happened was my husband, he does all of the driving. I always say, honey, are you okay? Do you need my help? He's like, I got it. Honey, are you okay? Are you falling asleep? Do you need my help? I got it. So whatever, we drove and drove and drove and we finally made it to Colorado. And when we got there, we got to the hotel to check in and we had kind of like booked it a few hours before on our phone, um, so whatever. So we got to the hotel and he goes inside to check in and we get in there and we're like, okay, we booked this hotel through Priceline and we're looking for this type of room. And they're like, oh no, that's not the type of room that you guys booked. And we're like, okay, cool. Well, we need something that has, you know, at least two beds and let out couch because we have us and we have all the kids. And they're like, you know what? We're sorry. We don't have that. Just call Priceline back and you guys can cancel. And when they call us, we'll let them know that, you know, we didn't have the space that you guys needed and it's okay to cancel. And so we're like, cool. We go and get back in the car and we start driving and look for another hotel and we're getting on the phone with Priceline and we're telling them, hey, you know, this hotel didn't have the type of room that we needed. We have children with us and we need more beds than that. And they're like, okay, cool. Hold on a second, let us call the hotel. So to shorten this part of the story, just know that we went back and forth and back and forth with Priceline um, on the phone because they're going back and forth and back and forth between us and the hotel person uh, to see why it is that we're canceling. And the end of that, that leg of the story was, no, you can't cancel because the hotel says they're not going to allow you guys to cancel and get a refund. And we're like, why wouldn't they cancel and let us get a refund? We were just there and they just told us that we could. So we're like, well, we can't just spend all of the money on another hotel. We've booked this hotel for two nights. Let's just go back. It's late. You know, we've been driving on the road for all these hours. It's uh, pretty close to midnight. Let's just go back there and I don't know, we'll work it out. Maybe somebody will sleep on the floor. We'll scrunch up, whatever. So we go back to the hotel and I'm sitting outside and I'm waiting for my husband to come outside and tell me that he checked in. But instead he comes out to the car and he's like, I can't do it. You have to go inside. And I'm like, you know, what's going on? He's like, the lady at the front desk, she's just being really rude and she's not letting us book, you know, not letting us um, check into our room. And I'm like, what? You know, I'm like, okay, well, he's tired. You know, let me just go in here and deal with it. So I go inside of the hotel and the lady is just uh, indescribably rude. I mean, I could tell you the whole story, but you know, I don't like keeping you guys on here all day. The bottom line is I had a paper held in my face. Can you read? Do you know how to read? Um, do you have an ID? I'm like, uh, my husband, I don't want an ID from you because I need your husband's ID. I already told him once. I told you guys before you left the last time. You know what? Security, come and get her out of here. Get out. You got to get out. 
And I'm like, ma'am, and you know, I'm really close up on the counter and I'm trying to keep my voice down. You know, a soft answer makes people calm down, right? And so I'm like, ma'am, is there something wrong? Did we do something to offend you? Are you okay? And she's like, listen, did, are you going to take this room or not? And we're like, and, and by the way, this is a king room. She wouldn't even switch us to a, a two bedroom with a double bedroom. We have one king in this room. And I'm like, no, we can't take that room. Can we at least have the, no, you can't have anything else. This is what you book. This is what you're going to get. Are you going to take this room or are you going to get out? And I'm like, well, ma'am, um, is it okay if I speak with a manager? No, there's nobody here but me. And I'm like, I said, well, it, is it okay? Could you call a manager for me? I'm not calling anyone and I'm not changing this room. You're either going to take this room or get, you know what? You just got to get out. You got to go. You got security. Come and get her and take her out of here. And I'm like, I said, ma'am, I, I don't really want it to have to be like this. Is it okay, you know, if we can just work something out? I'm like, we just drove all these hours. I have my children. You know, we're tired. We don't really have anywhere to go. We can, is it possible to get a refund? No, I'm not doing anything for you. If you want something, then you're going to have to call the police. Get out. Now, you guys know from the bird story that I, that I could, like, it's like, okay. And so the security guard is coming to take me out. And I said, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what we've done wrong, um, but I'm going to step out. I was like, you know, whatever. And so I get out to the car. My husband's like, so what happened? I'm like, she's crazy. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I don't even know. Like, what, what are we doing wrong? I'm like, she's nuts. And so we're sitting out there like, okay, we've already paid several hundred dollars for this hotel for two nights. Uh, we, my husband gets back on the phone with Priceline. They're like, we cannot give you a refund. Absolutely not. Unless the hotel okays it. They're calling the lady that's in a hotel and she's like, no, I'm not doing it. We're like, what are we going to do? And I'm like, babe, we're going to have to call the police. And he's like, I really don't want to call the police. I'm like, I don't either because this is like crazy. This is like this big. All she has to do is like switch the room to two beds. And it's the middle of the night and we're tired. And now we got a kid that has to use the bathroom. And like, what is even happening? So anyway, I don't want to keep this story so long for you guys. I want to get to my point for my profitable performers today. But eventually we had to call the police. And eventually the police came. And so we're inside the hotel with the police and she's snapping on the policeman just as much as she snapped on me and my husband. And I'm just standing there quietly and I'm letting her show her colors. So at least he could see where we're coming from. The security guard could see where we're coming from. So they don't just think that we're nuts and we're just stirring up strife. Right. So the police is like, you know, come on. And he takes me outside. He's like, you're not. He's like, I'm as a police officer. I can't force her to give you a room and I can't force her to give you a refund. He's like, and honestly, she's not even being nice to me. So you probably should just, he told me, go to a better neighborhood, find a better hotel and try to resolve this in the morning. And I'm like, okay, so let me get to my point and let me tell you guys how it made me cry. When I went back into that hotel with the police officer to, you know, kind of resolve the issue with her, she starts spewing all of these lies about me. She's in here and she's just disturbing all of my other customers and she's being conflict, you know, she's stirring up conflict and she's being rude and, and she's just saying all of these things about me and about my character and about what happened and all of these things that are just like not true. And I'm standing there and I could be like, girl, you better, you, uh, uh. but that doesn't win, right? That doesn't win. And I don't want to compromise my character for how she's acting. But I'm listening to her say all of these things about me that are not true. And it's hurting my feelings. And so we, I didn't cry in front of her, you guys. I'm not that bad, right? I'm not, I'm not super punk. But when we got outside and it was all said and done, I'm, I'm, I'm tearing and I'm crying. And I'm like, oh, I can't believe that I just had to take that for no reason. And so what am I trying to say in saying this whole story? By the way, we did go to another hotel. It's been double the price. It was much nicer. We eventually did get to sleep. We eventually did uh, talk to the management the next day. Uh, they said that she probably won't have her job anymore or get a very serious discipline because that was so not like them and so not like their staff or anything like that. So it did get resolved. What is my point? This is my point to my profitable performers out there for your music, for your careers, for your interactions as an independent artist. 
Listen, last a few Mondays ago, we talked about facing our failures with tenacity. And then last Monday, we talked about facing adversity with creativity. What I want to share with you today is facing your conflicts with character. Face your conflict with character. Listen, there are going to be some times in your music career while you're dealing with people, maybe with venues, maybe with people who are providing services for your T-shirts, maybe your keychains, maybe just people who, who wanted their money back because they didn't like the product that you gave them. And people, there are going to be conflicts. And sometimes people are going to be extremely rude, bogus, just, just not right. But the question is, are you going to go there with them? Because we could. We could go there with them like our society today. Everybody is like tit for tat and arguing and fighting and shooting and cursing people out. And you can, you can go that way. But listen, as a profitable, profitable performer, because we're talking about making income, what type of character do you want to have? Do you want to face your, your, your circumstances with nasty, ugly, belligerent, cursing people out? Or do you want to be beautiful so that when people get done dealing with you, they go, you know what? Let me give her some money and let me refer her to someone else because she dealt with me in such a beautiful way. Listen, I'm not going to keep you guys forever this morning, but I want to tell you, face all of your conflicts with great character. Because the more character you portray and convey, the higher your profits will be. Because people will enjoy you, they will enjoy being around you, and they will enjoy passing you on to the people that they care about. It will change your profit margins, trust me. That is all I have for you guys on Motivation Monday. I hope that you guys are motivated to get out there and to, to attack your music careers with a beautiful, beautiful character. You know I cannot let you get out of here without telling you. Get out there, perform, and make some money.